A quick new idea, daily, from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. One of the major factors in preventing cancer fatalities is early detection. The sooner a diagnosis is made, the easier it is to successfully treat. Dr. Anne-Marie Lennon is a professor of medicine and the director of Johns Hopkins Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology. Today, she explains how her research team is working on ways to detect cancers early enough to help save more lives. We know that tumors release tumor DNA into the blood. Imagine if we could detect that cancer DNA, we could potentially detect cancers earlier. What a simple concept, detecting tumor DNA in the blood. But of course, science and life is never that simple. And there For great endeavors, there are always multiple challenges that you need to overcome. And whether you're climbing Everest or trying to diagnose cancer earlier, you have to overcome these challenges. The first challenge that we faced in trying to diagnose cancer earlier was a technical one. And that is that the amount of tumor DNA in the blood is tiny one to five mutant fragments among a sea of 10,000 normal fragments. I'm part of a team at Johns Hopkins University, led by Bert Vogelstein, Ken Kinsler, and Nick Papadopoulos. And our goal is to detect cancers earlier. The team has worked on this for many, many years and ultimately came up with a novel technique, which we call safe sequencing. And using this technique, what we do is we take DNA and we attach a unique identifier or barcode to the DNA before it's sequenced. Using this technology, we're now able to identify a single mutant template in the blood when it's surrounded by 10,000 normal templates. So we've overcome our first challenge. But can it actually detect cancer? And we looked at 220 patients with pancreatic cancer. Now, pancreatic cancer is a devastating disease. It has the worst survival of any cancer, with just over 8% of patients diagnosed with it ultimately surviving. Imagine if we could identify pancreatic cancer earlier. What an incredible difference this could make to those patients. So did it work? The answer is yes. We were able to identify tumor DNA in the bloodstream in 30% of the patients with pancreatic cancer. So we thought, that's good. But the question we asked is, how can we do better? Another challenge that we need to overcome. So we went back to the drawing board, and we came up with a novel concept, which was to combine tumor DNA with other tumor markers in such a way that we were able to greatly increase the number of patients with pancreatic cancer that we could identify from 30 to 64 percent, while still ensuring that healthy patients were not misdiagnosed as having cancer. One of the really exciting things about tumor DNA is that the mutations that are present in pancreatic cancer are also present in multiple other cancers. So what does this mean? It means that potentially you could identify many different types of cancers with a single blood test. And that's what we try to do. So building on this concept, our group developed a test which would screen for eight common types of cancers. Cancer of the esophagus, cancer of the stomach, the colon, the pancreas, the liver, breast cancer, lung cancer, and ovarian cancer. We called it CancerSeq. And we evaluated it 
in just over a thousand individuals who had one of those eight different types of cancers, as well as 800 healthy individuals. And it worked. We were able to identify every cancer type. The number of patients that we were able to identify depended on the type of cancer that they had. So we were able to identify 33% of the patients with breast cancer, 72% of the patients with cancer of the pancreas or stomach cancer, and 98% of the patients who had liver cancer or ovarian cancer. Overall, Cancer Seek identified a median of 70% of the eight different types of cancers. Identifying them earlier. Will save lives. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event at University of Maryland in College Park, Maryland. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx Mid Atlantic. Want to listen to more TEDx talks? Explore the entire archive on the TEDx YouTube channel. I'm Matilda Leone. Thanks for listening, and see you tomorrow.